Good morning, it's Friday, what, August 11th, 5.37. Um, I started my day off with getting blood drawn. Um, I suffered a TBI in Afghanistan, and ever since I've had seizures, so I'm on Tegretol or carbamazepine. The side effect is it's, I guess, also a mood stabilizer, which takes away from my, my natural ups and downs. If anyone out there suffers from I'm labeled with being bipolar um, ever since my, my TBI. Um, I don't want to give up the, those feelings of mania. And I feel like as long as I don't stay in a dark, wintry climate, I won't go into manic depression. But of course, this is a mind that's not always right and it's led to some issues. So. Yep, they took blood this morning, and now I'm waiting for 6 o'clock coffee, and then breakfast. Good morning, we're just in time to see the sun rise over Mount Hood here in Portland, Oregon, over the Allotment Valley, is that what it's called? They have beautiful, large windows to help cheer patients up, I guess. And you know, I know no matter what, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be judged. Um, what's the first thing you see? Like. If I was wearing scrubs, you'd see somebody in a psych ward. But, you know, it's a VA hospital, right? You know, but I mean, I can deal with the hate, the people that just don't like me. The US, everyone seems to have to tell me their opinion. That's what I liked about Vietnam. I didn't get a lot of negativity, or maybe it was in Vietnamese, and I just didn't pay attention. But whether I look like this, or look how I looked 10 years ago, I'd be dealing with the same problems as a combat veteran. I wouldn't give up for how great I feel about myself or anything. I'm never gonna go back to the show of a person I used to be. Oh well. Good morning, so it's breakfast time on the psych ward. And they're trying to fatten me up with these disgusting chocolate and shows. But I have eggs. Almonds, rice milk, gluten free Cheerios, grapes, and oatmeal. So, yeah, I, mean, I can't, I shouldn't complain. Um, it's much better than um, like not really eating. Um, there's not exactly a lot to get when I was in Vancouver. There was not even fast food, and then restaurants were like 20 bucks. There was a planned pa plaid pantry, and that was like all I could choose from to eat. So I'm thankful I, I do have food. <laughs> I'm very thankful, extremely thankful, thank you. So just to give an example of some of the things we do, like they always make fun of doing arts and crafts when you're in psych ward, which is true, we do do arts and crafts. I made this bracelet which I can only have as long as it's less than six inches. And then I made these cards. We do um, like, oh, you know the word when you cut stuff out. I don't remember the word, but you know what I'm talking about. So this one says, um, the day they take our smiles, we're finished, we'll be finished. So there's that one. And then I made this one it says, I just want them to be remembered as good citizens who help protect their country, even in the face of discrimination. We were sent to die for. I couldn't find a question mark, but that's what was supposed to go there. I can really relate to returning to a country that half of it hates me, but I defended it when it asked me to. Messes with me. Well, hello everybody. It's now Sunday evening and I've survived the weekend. And I'm not gonna curse, but I really wanna say like the F word and a bunch of other stuff because, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I'm getting so effing angry over the food because I must be really angry about some other things that I'm just not processing in my head that have happened to me in the past week. But, mm, I don't know. I think, the, I th really think the kitchen here is effing with me. Um, there's someone else that has a similar diet to me. And I'm like, just give me the same food as the person that has a similar diet. And I keep getting stuff that I can't eat. So I've been throwing up the meds. And because I throw up the meds, they have to watch me swallow the effing pills and I have to sit and they're making me combine medications. And then because I throw up, I can't take any 
any of the nicotine lozenges. That just really effing pisses me off that the like person giving me the meds is such a bitch. I didn't say a bad word, I just moved my lips to say bitch. <sighs> and um, yeah, so that really is shitty. But um, there's been some positive, there's some really nice people in the morning that are really nice when I get ready at 4 a.m. Um, and that's all I'm, I'm gonna say about that. Let's see what else is going on. Well, there's not a lot I can tell you. I can only talk about me, because I can't talk about anybody else here. Um, but yeah, it's it's very, very stressful. Um, I'm pretty sure that like it's public record that um, sometimes um, the psych ward gets, gets full and sometimes it's very slow. Well, over the weekend, it was the opposite of very slow. And um, yeah, I need to remind myself I'm on a psych ward. You know, whenever you're on a psych ward, it's like you hear really interesting stories and you're like, wow, did that really happen? And you're, oh yeah, I'm on a psych ward. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Let's see what, what else is going on. Just, um, on the Sunday, there's absolutely nothing to do. Um, there's two TVs. There's one in like, the main dairy area that gets actual cable TV, and then there's one in the women's lo lounge. Yeah, I wish we had a lodge that only gets um, what's on the internet, whatever's free. So that could be a bit challenging um, it, at times. Um, yeah, the, the, the ratio of men to women, as you can guess, as, as, as I found in most military programs, is very unrealistic to the real world. And generally, I found because there's a huge amount of masculine toxicity of like people beating their chest, making up stories of stuff that I'm, I just call bullshit on most of them. You know, I just, I don't believe it. There's just no way everybody but me is special forces. Like, I'm not special forces. I was a truck driver. I did earn my blue cords, but I didn't deploy on my last deployment as infantry. So I don't claim that. But, you know, you'd think everybody I've ever met practically in every single program I've ever gone to is either an airborne ranger, marine, navy, seal, green beret. You know, I'm being serious. They mix them up that bad. And let's see, um, what else? I'm just, oh, you know, why are they effing with my nicotine? Just, just why? So anyways, I'm looking beautiful. They let me shave today, which, you know, I don't feel like a freaking Sasquatch, thank God. I can shave my, my every day, but my body, but once a week, so. I am beautiful, but you know, oh, oh yeah, the, the most important thing. Um, I'm terrified they're gonna throw me the freaking street tomorrow. I haven't gained any weight because they're not serving me food. Like I said, they're effing with me, purposely sending me food that I'll throw, I'll throw up. I don't know what they're putting on it. Um, they put all these weird spices on everything. I'm just like, just give it to me plain. They won't. Same thing happened in Vancouver. I didn't eat for days at a time and just ate candy and I'm pretty sure that's what screwed up my um, urine sample. Not the second time, first time. Second time, definitely that was me. First time, no, it was not me. So yeah, I hope everyone is having a better Sunday than me. Like, overall today was much better than where I'm terrified they're gonna kick me out to. The street, I don't wanna go to the street. You know, I'm actively saying I'm gonna, I hope I don't go to the street. Love you.